Let me share some simple tips to help you to create content. And uh, these are things that have really helped me. When I started creating content for social media, emails, online courses, um, my book, I found it very hard. But these six things helped me a great deal. So let me share what those are. So first of all, batch it. Actually have a time in the week where you are going to create content, where that is all you're going to focus on, where you're going to shut everything else out, shut everything else off, and that's what you're going to do. And you'll find you'll get into flow with it, you'll start creating a piece of content, and it's easy just to keep going and create more and more. Do a bit of planning as well, and you, you may spend part of that session planning what you're going to do, and then record it one after the other. So much easier. And of course, it also means you've only got to do your hair and makeup once, right? Okay. Think about the frequency of how often you're actually going to be putting content out because obviously that's going to dictate how much you need to create. Um, and, you know, some people put out way too much, some people put out way too little and expect results, and some people get it just right. Think about what's going to be just right for you because you need to be able to do this regularly. And I'd recommend, if you can, focus on one main platform if you're not able to focus on lots and really develop it further. But try to put out two or three, ideally three pieces of content every week. And I'll give you a couple of tips on that too as well coming up. So if you can do th if you can go out three times a week on social media, that's great. If you're going to send out content on email, if you can only do it once a month, then stick to once a month. If you can do it once every two weeks, do it once every two weeks. If you can do it weekly, do it weekly. But make sure that whatever you do, that it's something that you can handle. Duration. How long should your content be? Um, and I'm always talking about video because I do think video is the best content for speakers because people need to see you speak. I think it should be as short as you can possibly make it while giving great value. Um, and that's because we've all got limited time span, limited attention, but it's going back to what I, I love to quote Gary V: give value, give value, give value, and then you can ask for business. So make sure that the duration gives enough content that it's of value, but it's not too long. If you can keep it under five minutes, that I would try to do that always. Structure, how you structure your content. So the easiest way to structure it is to put, imagine three, three pieces of, of content, three parts to it. The first part is sort of the compelling topic or the title that's really relevant. The hook, if you like, what's going to get people to, to listen in because actually maybe they're looking for some tips on content creation to make it easier for them. So it has to be a topic that's relevant to your audience. So you need a title that is going to get them thinking, I need to watch this. Then, of course, you've got your content where you are, might be teaching, you might be telling stories, you might be illustrating, but you're giving that value and you need to. That's your, the main part. And just make it really easy to follow, um, which is what I try to do um, and try to give, you know, at least one takeaway. If you can give more than one takeaway, that's great. Um, the, the number that, you know, the power of three is really important. I'm giving you six here. So it's a double three. Does that make it doubly good? Probably not. But hey, um, so just make sure that you've got at least one takeaway in there. And then the final piece of the structure is a call to action. Always have some kind of call to action. And what is that call to action? Really, you're trying to create some kind of engagement. You're trying to take people off social media or off their emails. You want to have a chat. You want to develop a relationship. You don't want to necessarily sell, but you certainly want to develop a relationship. So have some kind of call to action at the end of all your videos. So the structure, very simply, something that attracts them, some great value content and a call to action. Reuse it, repurpose it. So if you're going to spend time creating content, find ways to use it again and again and again. So think about transcribing it. Think about turning it into MP3. Think about cutting it down. Think about quoting from it. But use it again and again. Don't just create a piece of content, use it once and then put it away because your time is valuable. You can repurpose your content. So think about how you will do that. And then finally, consistency. Overnight success takes years 
And I think a lot of people are very impatient about being successful. You need to be consistent. You need to consistently show up with your great value content and you need to consistently be sharing it at a certain standard and a certain level. People will then trust you. They'll trust you that you are there. They'll trust that you have the depth of knowledge. They trust that you care and they will likely more work with you than somebody else or even they'll more likely work with you than somebody else. So the six parts to uh, tips for creating content are batch it, do it in, in slots, frequency, think about how often you're going to do it, aim for three times a week, ideally more if you can, how long is it going to be, duration, keep it short, structure, keep the structure super simple, reuse it and be consistent. I hope that helps and I look forward to seeing your content. Let me know how you get on. That's my call to action. I'd love to know how you get on. Okay, take care.